86, way back. Further back. Back in the time. Let's run this right here, y'all. Come on. I like a mystery because nobody knows me. Get down the side. I'm G-O-D, you see? I'm in the image. Son of the Supreme One. What's wrong for now? Um, well, what I learned was that, like, you don't always, like, back in the day, like, back, what was it, 80s? Mm -hmm. 70s, back 80s. Back in the day, <laughs> like, when Kizzy was born, right? So, like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because I was probably born before that. <laughs> like, the music, they, they, didn't have, they didn't have any bad influence. It was just all positive things. Like, mm -hmm. instead of fighting, they could dance it out. They could rap about it. They can grab a little DJ equipment and, like, you know, whatever, do whatever they mm -hmm. do on the DJ thing. And that's how they communicate. That's how they solve the beef. But, like, now it's, like, only thing we do is we fight or we shoot at people, we shoot at people, we kill people, we kill someone's child. Like it's like me killing her kid. Like mm -hmm. you know, and it's just like it's the point. So what I did know that like we have to bring that back. Like the music now is like that's influencing everyone. Like Chief Keith, all the crazy uh, people. Like every everything's all about guns and smoking and partying, and that's not the way to go. Cause what do you do when that's all gone? That's not always gonna be there. Like you are gonna like just die and then you don't have no purpose, you know, and then people are quick to be like, oh, he was such a good kid when you know he wasn't. Like they need to like tone. They need to they need to just bring that back. Good answer, man. Give a hand. Give a hand. I like that. I like that. I like that. Back to you, Dr. Roberts. What was your experience? You was over here dancing with Mr. Wave, Why Skinny Boys was performing. Getting oh look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Popping. Get a ten dollar bill from right. Cool Herc. Talk to me about your experience. It was all good vibes. I respect the gentleman who spoke out how the tone. he spoke out and apologized to how he converted from his roots and speaking of love and then talking about somebody's mama and, and whose mom's a bee and his mother has to check him mm -hmm. and ask put him in his place and ask if she's a bee and why would he put that in his music and promote that. He came back and apologized to the community and the just nice. And at the end of the day, they all went through the history and made the focus that all music now is not the same then, and it's just all infested, manifested, infested. And now we need to bring that back. And parents need to play it, bump that old school music so we can all feel the love of <laughs> Ah, give a hand. Nice. So on that note, that was the experiences for hip hop expression of Black history. The mayor was very. Excited about that. Senator Blumenthal was here. He was just as excited. So we will do it again and we'll do it even a lot bigger next year. Key figures from the early days of hip hop came together in Bridgeport today for a celebration of music. It was all part of Mayor Joe Ganim's second annual Hip Hop Expression of Black History at Government Center. Senator Richard Blumenthal held a round table on the cultural impact of hip hop, and he was joined by DJ Cool Herc and DJ Red Alert, who are widely regarded as founders of hip hop. Their voices and faces really bring back so many memories about the founding of this music and about how their creativity led so many people to enjoy the kind of artistry that they created. This is really community coming together for the benefit of young people, and we need to do more of this. Wow, the expo featured appearances by artists Skinny Boys and Terrible T. Really cool.